Welcome to the standard written form for division. Let's start with this question here. Um, I've got 75 tennis balls, which I want to share into three groups. Now let's see what that question looks like uh, setting it out using standard written form. Well, here are my three, three groups just like I had up here. Here are the 75 tennis balls, and they're still down here. And notice how I've got one number in each column. So I've got a ones column here, and the tens column here. And up here I've got my divided by sign, and this symbol here also means divided by. Now for this first question, I'm also going to draw a diagram um, to show what we're doing. So 75 is made up of seven tens, so I'll draw those in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And it's also made up of five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm wanting to share them into three groups. So I'm going to draw my three groups down there. Now the first question I ask myself is, can I share those seven groups of ten that I've got up here into three groups. And I can, I could put one there, one there, one there, and you can see that I could also put a second group of 10 in each group, or second group of 10 tennis balls. So you can see I've put two groups of 10 tennis balls, or 20 in each group, so I can record that over here. I'm just putting a 2 because I'm in the tens column, so this isn't actually a 2, it represents a 20 or 2 groups of 10. Now you can see that I've got 10 tennis balls here and 5 tennis balls here left over. Well, we've got the 5 recorded, so now I just need to make sure that this 10 here is recorded as well. And I do that by just putting a little one here so that I read this number as 15, which is the total amount of tennis balls I've got left. So now I need to share these 15 tennis balls into the three groups. Well that's easy, I can do these five here and put five more tennis balls into this group. And this 10, I'm going to have to split it up. I'm going to split it up into one group of five and another group of five, and then I'm going to put that five into this group, and that five into this group. So you can see that uh, 15 shared into three groups, then I put an extra five in. So in total, I put 25 tennis balls in each group. So 75 divided by three is 25. Now let's try another example, um, and this time we're not gonna draw a diagram. Okay, in this example we'll have uh, 84 tennis balls, which I want to share into six groups. So I can set that out using my standard written form. We know that this 8 here actually represents 8 groups of 10, but for the rest of this lesson I'm just going to refer to it as an 8. And you know that anything that I write in this column here actually represents an amount of 10s. For example, if I wrote 2 here, it would represent 20. Now the first question I need to ask myself is, can I share 8 between 6 groups? And the answer is I could. I could put 1 in each group, and then I'd have some left over. I would have 2 left over, so I'm going to put that here. Now remember that this 2 that I've put here isn't actually just a 2, it's two groups of 10. So together here, I've got 24. So now I ask myself, can I share 24 between 6 groups? And the answer is 4. So you can see that 84 shared into 6 groups means I would put 14 in each group. Let's have a look at a slightly larger question. Uh, let's imagine I've got a 126 tennis balls, which I want to share uh, between six groups. 
Now, just like before, um, we, we remember that this 2 isn't actually a 2, it represents a 20, and this isn't actually a 1, it uh, represents 100. But for the rest of this question, I'm just going to refer to it as a 1 and a 2 and a 6. So the first question I ask myself is, can I share 1 between 6 groups? And I can't do that, but I don't have enough, so now I'm going to join these two together. Can I share 12 between 6 groups? And I could do that. That would mean I put 2 in each group. And my last question is, I've got 6 left. Can I share that 6 between 6 groups? And the answer is yes. That would mean I put 1 more in each group. Which means, in total, I put 21 in each group. Let's have a look at one more. Uh, this time I've got 96 tennis balls, which I want to share into four groups. And remember that this 96, or this 9 here, actually represents a 90, so anything that I write in this uh, tens column is actually going to represent a number of tens. But just like last time, just to keep things a little bit simpler, I'm just going to refer to this number as 9, and this obviously just as the 6. So my first question is, can I share 9 into 4 groups? And the answer is I can. I could put 2 in each group, and then I would have 1 left over. So I'm going to write that 1 there. But remember, this isn't actually a 1, because we've been dealing with 10s over here. So, you know, just like before, this isn't actually a 2. It represents 2 groups of 10. So this 1 group of 10 plus a 6 means I've actually got 16 left over here. So my next question is, can I share 16 into four groups? And the answer is yes, that would mean I put four more in each group, which means in total I'd put 24 in each group. So 96 divided by 4 equals 24. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful. If you need some more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.